Hi, hello, hope you're in fine voice. Are there specific microphones for certain kinds of voices? And the reason I'm posing the question is I've had an inquiry from uh, from someone who wants to know. Let me show you the uh, message that he sent through. It's from Lenny, and he says, I'm upgrading for my baritone voice. I've got a Rhodes Basic mic. What mic do you feel will be a studio professional level? And he's also got a basic Focusrite 2x2, which upgrade will make a difference for the interface. It sounds to me, Lenny, like you've got either a Rode NT1A or a Rode NT1. There's a subtle difference between the two. The Rode NT1A comes as part of a, a pack, usually. It's about 150-odd pounds, I think, currently. And it's pretty good. It's, it contains some extra bits and bobs, like you get a, uh, a pop shield with it, and I think you get a, a shock mount. Uh, maybe a, a stand as well, I think, might be in there. Uh, you don't get the interface, though, but that's, like I say, coming up for about uh, at about £150. And it's pretty good. Very low noise, and it's a great starter mic. The Rode NT1 is slightly different, it, uh, but only subtly different. Better circuitry, probably better all-round sound, and maybe an even quieter background noise, noise floor on that mic. And that's about £190, £200. You can probably pick one of those up. So it's probably one of those two microphones and absolutely perfect for your voice as a baritone. Uh, the Focusrite, you've probably got a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. Almost certainly that's what you've got. Again, really low self noise, low noise floor, and pretty much the road with a focus right will give you a good kind of solid workhorse for doing voiceovers. Now, the big question is, you've got a baritone voice, so what would be the best, the best kind of combo for, for you? And I think you'll find that most sound engineers would say, well, it doesn't actually matter because what will what will happen is if you've got a, a baritone voice or a bass voice or a tenor voice, you've got a male or female or non-binary voice, then if the sound engineer or producer or director wants to enhance that voice in some way, augment it, then they will use EQ. So they'll add some extra higher notes, treble, say, some mid-range or some bassier lower notes. So there, there may be some processing going on. So actually the type of mic you have is, is sort of immaterial to a large extent. As long as you've got a good basic quality, you're, you're OK. Now, leaving that aside, if you are thinking of upgrading, then I would say, I mean, I don't know your budget or anything, but I would say you need to think about a, a decent step up. So you're currently in the sort of anywhere between 150, 200 odd pounds mark. And I say, look, why not consider something uh, like an Audio Technica 4050? Not many people use them. In fact, um, I do. And we use them in the London studio for our uh, voiceover students. That's it there. And uh, this is a, a picture of Pete who uh, is one of our successful students with his uh, Audio Technica 4050. And um, it's great. It's a, it's a lovely mic. It will have more detail and finesse than your Rode mic and be great for baritone, great for bass, great for tenor. Doesn't really matter. Um, if you want to consider a Neumann, now Neumann's like the Rolls Royce of microphone makes. If you want to consider a Neumann, I would suggest something like a, a Neumann TLM 103. And here you can see Manisha at the St Albans recording studio. And uh, Manisha's there using the, the road, sorry, the Neumann, Neumann TLM 103, uh, which is a good kind of entry level Neumann. But I say entry level, it's going to set you back about 900 quid. So 650, 700 for the Audio Technica, 900 Eight nine hundred, maybe you can get it for eight hundred odd pounds for the uh, for the uh, Neumann. Will there be much of a difference between the Audio Technica and the Neumann? I don't think so. I mean, we've recorded a huge number of, of students over the years, and I would say the difference is uh, kind of you know 
a fag paper, as they used to say in the olden days. You know, wafer thin difference between them. If you did an A-B test, perhaps you'd notice the difference. A sound engineer might notice the difference, but I think ordinary mortals like ourselves or like your clients won't particularly notice. So anyway, a couple of suggestions for you there, Lenny. So I would say when push comes to shove, really, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter uh, in in terms of trying to match a a certain mic to a certain voice uh, type. As As a baritone, most males, including myself, are probably falling within that baritone spectrum. Uh, bass is slightly deeper. Tenor, of course, is higher. So, uh, you know, a good mic is a good mic and a good voice is a good voice. So don't try and match the mics particularly. If you do want to do some processing beyond that, that means EQ and so on and compression that that will change the colour of uh, and the sound, overall sound of your voice. But otherwise... Go with mic quality and forget the fact you've got a baritone voice. That's sort of immaterial, I think, when it comes to mic choice. Okay, well, I hope that helps. Thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice and see you next time.